guys, Robert here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and it's great to have you. And I'll be talking about a, a vision I'd gotten a while ago, but I've been feeling very strongly lately about it. And it's called, Don't Let the Hands That Heal Throw Stones. One thing that really captured me is sometimes we're, we get critical and we get very picky and offended and all those things are like throwing stones you know it's like when jesus and had the um the lady that was caught in adultery and everyone's ready to throw stones at her and and but we forget what we've been through you know and the lord said those without sin throw the first stone gradually they all left and i feel that this is like that you know, our hands, we, we're so quick to throw stones at people who we disagree with. You know, some preachers and, and people of all sorts. We have these amazing gifts that God has given us. You know, I don't know if you've ever thought of an iPhone. When they release the iPhone, they've got the manual of all the things that it can do. Amazing things. You know, and the Lord has also released a book of the amazing things that we can do or should be doing and now i'm going to read from mark actually from 15 to 18 but i'll i'll make it quick at 17 and 18 but read it all because it's really amazing and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues and they shall take up dead um, take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they, listen to this, and they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Now that's a very powerful statement. Not might, but shall. Now that's like a promise in the book. And this, the Lord is talking about us. You know, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. You know, you know, I've caught myself ready to throw stones, you know, being offended and, and, and so on, you know. And I sh we should not be like this. And I'm going to give you a quick testimony. You know, I'm travelling to work one day and I decide, you know, Lord, <laughs> I surrender this day to you. Lord, whatever you want, I'll allow you to move me. Now, the day was very ordinary and everything like that, but on my way home from work, I get a stop, get my cappuccino for the, uh, the drive home because it's, it's a long drive. Anyway, I come up to a motorbike accident in heavy traffic and a, and a motorbike came unstuck and there was an accident right in front of me and the guy was rolling around the ground in agony and he got up to move out the way and fell straight to the ground and no one was attending to him, everyone was worried about the traffic and his vehicle, his motorbike. And so I just pulled over, jumped out the car and went over to him, not knowing what to do. But I know that God's got this. And I go over there and I'm looking at him rolling on the ground. I'm telling him to, just to relax. I'm laying hands on him and I'm praying in tongues, the prayer of language. I don't know what to do. So I'm just laying hands on him and I'm just releasing the spirit, just praying in tongues and as I'm praying in tongues I'm just watching him just relax starting to settle down and so on and then as he settled down I just felt this word that I just privately prayed and I asked Lord can you heal him please because I didn't know if he was Christian or not sometimes we get caught up am I allowed to pray this prayer and, I, and it just come out of me Lord I just thank you that you would heal this guy and within a an amazingly short time, my jaw was dropping because he was able to get up and walk around. And he, before, he was, was like paralysed on the ground. Incredible. Just incredible. And, and I was amazed. I'm thinking, or well, perhaps. But anyway, when he came to, he said, I've got this part that he was delivering. He needed delivered to um, a factory, a large factory that had broken down and they needed to get going. But anyway, I said, I'll deliver it. If you trust me, I'll deliver it. And he said, I trust you. Can you deliver it? And I delivered it. You know, just 
doing something kind for someone who's really in need. All, everyone else had gone and left. Are you okay? Yep. And they left. But I went to this factory, it was a meat factory, and they blessed me with a big box of meat. You know, stuff like that. If I would have just driven around just like everyone else, or just thought, wow, you know, there was plenty of people, I don't need to stop. I don't know. But I know that the power was with me, and the power is in hand to lay hands on the sick, and they shall cover. It's in the book, like the iPhone. It's what we are made for. Anyway. I really hope this blesses you. I'm glad that you watched and thank you for liking and subscribing and I, anything that you want to share would be great. God bless you. See you on the next one. Bye.